controller settings that you all need to try are here. Just remember to subscribe to the channel and use code CARTER2K in the Fortnite item shop to show your appreciation because with these settings, you will absolutely be dominating lobbies. First of all, with controller settings, I've noticed that most people only show like the advanced controller settings tab, but over here in just the normal game settings, a lot of players don't know what to have these on. So I'm only gonna point out the important ones here, but you can copy all of these. I think auto open doors being on is pretty big. Hold the swap pickup is big. For preferred item slots, I use this. The reasoning behind this layout is simply because of how weird it is to cycle through weapons on controller. Then for building, all four of these are actually relatively important, especially confirm add on release, because I don't think that there's a reason to not have this on. G Money was one that even mentioned that in a recent video that he actually uses both confirm add on release and double edit bind. Tap to search interact is pretty big. And then for replays to optimize input delay, you want them off. Game UI settings don't really matter. You can really just keep those on default. Gyro aim settings are honestly not good. I would not be using them. That's really all that needs to be said about those. Now over to mouse and keyboard and you wouldn't think this tab affects controller settings at all, but apparently there's some conspiracies out there where people think that your mouse and keyboard sensitivity actually affects your controller. So far, I've not found that to be true, but just in case it does, this is what I use for mouse and keyboard. And now for the most important controller setting. First of all, obviously these are on advanced options. Then I'm gonna have a point 0.1 slide hold time. My camera stuff is the default pitch in point 0.1. Vibrations are off because they can actually throw off your aim. Build and edit multipliers are both gonna be a flat 2.0, and those are gonna be going off of the look sense, which is 42% for both horizontal and vertical. But on the look sense, there is actually turning boost of horizontal 3% and vertical 3%. However, there's a zero second turning boost ram time. Then for ADS, ADS is gonna be an 8% for both horizontal and vertical. And for ADS, I'm gonna add a really tiny turning boost of horizontal 1% and vertical 1%. And once again, zero second on the boost ramp time. Look, damn big time is gonna be at zero seconds. These are gonna be on linear. And for dead zones, I say this every single video, but dead zones are dependent on your specific controller. On my PS4 controller, 1010 works fine, but you should be good with value use anywhere between like 6 to 16 percent. And these settings are gonna work really well for literally any controller player. It doesn't matter if you play old gen console, new gen console, if you use a controller on PC like I do, or even if you use like a controller paired with your Switch. Any way you put it, these settings will work great because they're a perfect mix of consistency and accuracy, and it honestly feels pretty easy to be good on these settings. Now that's obviously really easy to say, but I'm gonna go back that up and hop into a game. Come on, let's go. Non-ADS spray on these settings is literally huge. What about the ADS settings though? Oh my God, let's go. Bro, I got people above me and below me, this is bad. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, let's go. I was literally out of match. Let's go. I mean, I wasn't lying when I said these settings were good. I actually think the last time I played was around five full days ago. And I come back to these settings, drop four kills off drop in arena. That's pretty solid. Oh, let's go. Honestly, can't say that one specific thing about these settings is like better than any other parts because it genuinely feels because it genuinely feels like every single part of these settings are good. The ADS feels solid, the non-ADS feels solid. Oh, I wanted to steal that kill so bad. Oh, what a hit. Let's go. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, you wanna boom battle it? Buddy, I'm on the best controller settings. Bro, let's go. I literally forgot about the drum shotgun. That thing scared me when he pulled it out. I need one of these mats. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, that dude absolutely hit me so hard. Oh, dude, we are golden. I swear I literally just had five elims. Now I got nine. I don't even know when that happened. But one thing I did want to mention amidst all that chaos is that one of the best ways to get good settings is literally to pick any settings and stay on them for a long time. And maybe I shouldn't say any settings. Maybe I should say pick like some good settings, like potentially some ones that I showed, like potentially some ones I showed in this video and then stick with them. Oh my god. Oh no, bro. What was that? This is actually scaring me. Let's go. 10 Elim dub on the great settings. An arena dub at that. I haven't played this game in a little bit. I'm gonna switch to something a little more fast paced to show a lot more action. Arena games just take so long and I've already proved that these settings can be good in arena. Oh, I don't have an SMG. What is he doing? Oh my god, bro. I mean, I'm gonna say it again. Literally everything from like long range AR aim, close range shotgun aim, non ADS spray aim. It's literally all so good. I mean, peace control, it is all so good. I can't. And this video is probably actually coming out the last day of the season. So although I'm pretty confident that the settings will remain good, like regardless of what season it is. Okay, hold on. I got to focus here because this guy's way more sweaty. these settings should be perfectly fine for any future seasons and honestly these are probably the settings that i'm going to continue to use in the next season there's always the chance that fortnite adds some new weird things and new mechanics that make you have to change the settings just like when we started seeing like sliding and a lot of this more fast-paced movement you kind of had to adjust your settings a little bit And that same thing could very well happen next season. I'm personally really excited for next season. Hopefully it's a good season and makes people excited to play Fortnite again. We got everyone getting out of school on some summer break. If you haven't heard yet, we got in-person Fortnite tournaments starting again, which should be huge. Dang, this dude has insane ping. Man, this dude is playing so weird now. Now he's just super scared to lose, I think. Bro, look at this guy's ping. It's actually insane. I mean, there's literally just no way. Oh, let's go. I'm leaving on that. No, I can't play against a zero ping warrior anymore. My final thoughts are that these settings are fire.